In this segment, we're going to demonstrate the administrative functions of the IPA 3400, the system tools screen, and also how to remove the flow modules and reinstall them for calibration. The system tools screen can show us a lot of information and configuration about the IPA 3400. It allows us to do system setup, such as the pressure units that we want to display, the audio volume for the key clicks and everything. Um, the sampling window is how often that we store readings as the flow test is running. So if we're running a really long flow test, uh, multiple hours, we may want to extend that out to a longer period of time just to reduce the amount of data that we have. Um, it doesn't change the rate at which we measure the flow rate, it's just how often are those readings saved to a file. The set time and date uh, is there as well, it's also calibrating touchscreen. Uh, we can do system maintenance in here. Um, from, the from the screen. Um, and then we also have options for uh, what language we want to use. We currently have English and German uh, for the IPA 3400. And then we also have uh, an option for uh, whether we want to display the grams mode. The grams mode allows us to show grams measurements. Um, we have a density, which is based on our altitude and we can display grams in our measurements. So as we're running a flow test, some uh, service manuals want you to measure in grams rather than milliliters. So rather than having to use a scale, you could use the IPA 3400 and just have it display how many grams uh, equivalency was measured based on the flow and the, uh, the volume that we measure during the test. So those are the system tools that are available and what we'll need to do um, is uh, actually for the system information, this displays our calibration due date. So if when we're ready, when we need to send a unit back, it, we can go to this screen and see which units are due for calibration and uh, which ones should be sent back. That also uh, is where we can see uh, how much time how much the, each module has been used and when it was last cleaned as well. So remote mode allows me to control the IPA 3400 through the network and I can hook up a network cable to the back of the unit and I have a remote control utility uh, on my desktop or laptop that I can use and I can monitor or actually entirely run the 3400 remotely through the network. I can transfer files. Uh, those can be saved over to a uh, flash drive. If I've saved all of my tests and configurations locally, I can then transfer them later uh, once I'm done with all of my work. In network settings, that allows me to, to connect to a network and get an IP address in order to be able to talk to the unit remotely. So now we're ready to, uh, we saw on the system info screen, one of our channels needed to be calibrated. So we're gonna demonstrate how do we get the module out and return that for service. So the first thing we want to do is turn off the 3400. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power switch in the back and we have to flip up the front panel. And once we do that, now we have exposed our instructions for changing out the modules. So I'm just gonna follow those instructions here. It consists of removing these two thumb screws on the front panel. And we can set that down. Now we have to remove the thumb screw for the channel that needs to be calibrated or removed. And there's a flip down handle on the module. It allows me to gently pull out the module. Now I need to pull out straight. There's a series of keys. There's a key in the bottom here, a channel, and key uh, on the bottom of the 3400. And that's what keeps it from tilting down or anything. So I have to pull straight out. And also when we put it back in, we just push it straight back and it should click into place. And as long as we can screw in the thumb screw at the bottom, we know it's fully seated. That's gonna screw into these threads here. Now, what's important for sending this unit back is to use the box that came with the 3400. Now, the reason for that is there's some custom foam in here that holds the unit really well and keeps it safe during shipment. Inside the lid of my 
uh, package that, that came, the IPA 3400 came in, um, we'll see that um, we have instructions as well for how to remove or reinstall the module. So we'll just pick this up, pick up the foam here, and there's a nice cutout for my module. So I'll take the module. Now again, before we remove this, we ran the drain cycle. So you want to make sure and do a drain before shipping or storing the module. And then we take the foam, there's a similar cutout in the lid of the foam. So we set the unit in there, put in our tabs, and lock the lid in place. And now it's ready to be shipped back to BC Group for calibration. That concludes all of the features for the IPA 3400. Thanks for watching and to get more information on BC Group products or more training videos, visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com. Thank you for watching this BC Group International production. For more information about our extensive line of BC biomedical products and products from our vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace online at bcgroupstore.com. BC Group, we are your one-stop biomed shop.